What's up, everybody? It's Josh again. So we're going to continue the trend of answering viewers' questions. And today we have a question about finding a job after graduating WGU. This is specifically for uh, graduating with a bachelor's degree in, in IT, like the kind of generic IT degree. So our question today is from Ak, and he said, was it difficult for you to get a job? And this this question is from the, um, the video, like how to get a bachelor's degree in six months. So he says, how was it difficult for you to get a job? And this, this question is like really really simple but it's not really simple to answer uh, and i'll tell you why well i guess i guess first i want to say like no it wasn't difficult but if i just say if i just say no it was it was easy for me to find a job afterwards it's kind of i don't know if disingenuous is the right word maybe like possibly misleading because getting a getting a job like isn't dependent on any one factor like oh i got my degree now i can get a job my degree was good therefore i was able to get a job it, it doesn't really work like that it, it's kind of like a whole um bunch of things like come into play when you're job hunting i kind of made a video about it and i talked about this like framework um that i used to to get a job so for for me specifically it was it was pretty easy for me to get a job because i already had um a whole bunch of certs and experience and like i i just had like a pretty decent resume like before i even graduated with the, the bachelor's degree so uh, i'll kind of show you like what my resume looked like like the moment after i graduated wg i'll wg i'll show you what my resume looked like at that time and then we'll kind of compare um the resume of somebody who who doesn't really have any experience or anything else and they just graduated with the bachelor's and then i'll, I'll compare another resume um kind of the same scenario someone without a job or experience but they graduated with the bachelor's in it management so we'll kind of compare these three resumes just to kind of uh, give an idea so the first resume i'm going to show is my resume like right after graduating the bachelor's of it from wgu in 2013 so this is my resume it's pretty much like a, a time capsule of it and um just fyi the stuff that's like red and bolded th these are like the certs that i got from the degree at that time just so it's like really clear i guess um, um, so I already had like, you know, a decent amount of exposure to a bunch of random technologies. I actually did my capstone on implementing SCCM. So it kind of helped me expedite my, my capstone a little bit because I based it on a project that I already did. So I just kind of want to show like this is my experience and my credentials I had. Like I already had like these kind of random certs from my for my I guess my community college. I already had like a associate's degree, which I, I could transfer credits into WGU. And I already had, you know, a bunch of these certs like CCNT and ITIL and stuff. I got all these ones in red. This is stuff that I got from the actual program. So looking at this resume, um, this is this is pretty much this is pretty much what I was working with, like right when I graduated WGU. And I already had a job at the time. But if I didn't and I had a resume like this, it would be like really easy easy for me to find a job, right? Especially because I live in Seattle. So you know, it it's kind of disingenuous for me to be like yeah it was easy but i i lived in seattle i had a lot of experience i had a lot of you know uh credentials and stuff already so i i just want to be like yeah it's easy it was easy for me to find a job i i never have had problems finding a job but this is my resume and this is where i lived so having said that getting the bachelor's of it from wgu it can like you can still like have a really decent looking resume like even if you don't have a lot of previous it experience so i'll i'll show you to, i'll show you what i mean so let's go to the next resume real fast here so this is the resume of somebody who doesn't really have like any prior it experience but they just have like their GED because maybe they didn't graduate high school, they got their GED and they're trying to shift their career from working in like McDonald's per se, because my very first job was McDonald's. So they're trying to shift their career from working in McDonald's to, you know, IT or something. And this is the resume of what that person would look like, like right after they graduated WGU. Like again, the kind of bolded red portions here are, these are the certs that are included as of 2021, like today, these are the certs that are included in the kind of generic bachelor's degree from WGU. And it, as you can see, this resume looks it looks like pretty decent so here's their their current job right is mcdonald's like they're a shift lead and they're kind of quantifying their experience down here even though they're working at mcdonald's like they can you can still say some like pretty decent stuff about your work and accomplishments there like acted as the designated trainer for new staff like whatever your job like you know happens to be you can always make it sound like okay right and then this other kind of experience part um i made a whole video like kind of talking about this how if you don't have experience like actual w2 work experience you can always like do something to create experience for yourself like you can like spin up a tenant in azure and then create an azure ad environment and create some resources in azure or something and then maybe you can you know make a tutorial how to do it make a blog post and make a cheap youtube video and publish it and put it on your linkedin or something that counts as experience because you're, you're learning yourself and you're teaching other people those other people are consuming your content and it kind of showcases your ability to at least do something is better than not having having a job right so this this 
this is just um, for this made up person, this is just kind of manufactured experience that, that they can use to demonstrate, right, that they can do this particular thing. And it can it can be anything like programming, um, scripting, Azure AD, on-premise AD, Office 365, Cisco Lab. You can make up any experience and, and put it on your resume. And then the most important part is you like, you know, kind of make it tangible or quantify it with like a blog post or like a like a, a YouTube video or something like this. And this resume, like if you look at it, it looks like pretty good. This person, like they have their GED, they worked at McDonald's, and then eventually they graduated with their bachelor's from WGU and IT. They have all these certs, they have a bachelor's in IT, they have this nice manufactured experience, and then they have at least some work, some work experience. And the resume is like nice and squared away. This this person could easily, easily get a job um, at any kind of you know, metropolitan area area or even like the suburbs of one because like wouldn't you hire this person to to be like a, a help desk person or like a uh, support analyst or, or something like this like of course the resume it looks pretty decent right it looks pretty good so i would i would argue to say like you know yeah I guess, depending on your location, of course, like, yeah, for sure, it's going to be relatively easy for you to find a job like after graduating a bachelor's in WGU. So this is the this is the generic bachelor. So let's let's take a look at the, the bachelor's um, in IT management really quick. And by the way, I'll put all these kind of sample resumes in the description. So please like take them and use them as your own. If you like don't have a resume or you like how these look, feel free to like just take them and just use them. Right. It's it's for you guys. Um, so this this is the bachelor's in IT management from WGU. This is usually the one that I I recommend people to get if they want to finish quickly because you kind of notice it, it doesn't it doesn't actually have it doesn't actually have any certifications in it. So what I what I would recommend normally is if you want to work in like the technical side of IT and you, you just want a degree fast, like you have your mindset on getting a degree and you just want it fast, I'd recommend getting the bachelor's in IT management just because it's quick. And then after the fact, you can just get like CompTIA A plus and just add it to your resume. So this this resume is like pretty much it's pretty much exactly the same as the last one minus like a whole bunch of certs here, right? Because the IT management degree doesn't have certs. Um, it has other classes in place of those. It has like classes that were developed by WGU, but it just doesn't doesn't have the certs. So it tends to it tends to be a lot easier, I guess you could say, or, or quicker to get. Pretty much exactly the same thing. The work experience, manufactured experience, can be anything. Azure AD, O365, G Suite, whatever. And then your, you know, your GED, if you have one, or your high school diploma, of course, your bachelor's degree, and then, you know, it looks nice and squared away. Again, this is for sure, this person could be, you know, a help desk person or or, or anything really like any entry level um, IT job. And then you can kind of customize like maybe which cert you want to get, like maybe you care about networking more. So you go out and get like, you know, a Cisco certified technician or CCNA, or maybe you care about, you know, AWS, so you go and get an AWS cert or something. It just... You can get whatever you want, but I just kind of put A plus here because um, again, there's no certs in the BSITM of, of of today, 2021. So I'd recommend like kind of adding one to it. Again, like to answer your question, for me, yeah, it was really easy. And then for you, it or or anyone who doesn't have experience or anything, and they just get a degree, like for sure, I I'm pretty confident if they kind of um, if they kind of implement this framework here i'm really confident that anyone would be able to find a job in a metropolitan area or or even the suburbs you just got to make sure you're squared away on all these uh fronts right a nice squared array resume cast a wide net when you're applying like sign up for all those job hunting sites like Mon monster and like indeed and what's the other one this dice still exist like like i don't know contact you know recruiters make sure your resume is like everywhere have your linkedin like totally filled out interview prep gather like 100 questions or 100 something questions i'll i have a bunch actually so i'll put them into in the description but just make sure you know you're squared away on like all these things here and if you have a, have a degree like i'm i'm pretty confident that you'll be able you'll be able to find a job so to answer the question like yeah it's it's pretty easy but um it just required like kind of more explaining than just being like yeah it's easy for me to find a degree so i hope i hope all that made sense another thing to kind of be aware of is you'll you notice like a lot of job descriptions will be like you know required like bachelor's degree but you you notice like half of them like don't actually require the bachelor's degree like you can get hired without one like my first job it was like state government even um i didn't even have my associates yet and i got i got hired anyways so it just it just kind of depends and it's it's kind of a, a pain in the ass because you're like well which one's higher degrees so for me like the whole reason i got the bachelor's degree is because i wanted to like maximize my employability as much as possible and i didn't want to worry about like like which ones required degrees and like which ones didn't i just wanted to like get the degree and like have it on my resume so i wouldn't have to care about it like there are some degrees like there are some jobs that really do require it. like um if you want to work in the federal government like you should fact me 
fact check me on this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you need to have a degree if you want to work IT in the federal go federal government. And in the military, like if you want to be an officer for some reason, you need to have a bachelor's degree. There's some things that just require it, right? So if you just want to like, you don't want to care about any of that and you just want to maximize your employability, you know, I would recommend, I would recommend getting it. Like I was, I really, really, really didn't want to be poor again um, at the time. So I just wanted to like do whatever I could to get, you know, make sure that I would never be poor, which is why like I have like so many certs like at the time, it's kind of dumb, but um, it ended up working out like okay for me. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. If you're watching this and you got your bachelor's from WGU and you had like a different different experience afterwards, like finding a job, I, I totally want to hear about it in the comment section. So just let us know. And as always, if I said anything weird, you know, just call me out on it. Or if you want to add anything or, you know, argue or anything like that, just go ahead and use the comment section. Again, I'm going to put all those like sample resumes you saw in the in the uh, description as well as the practice questions and stuff. Um, so yeah, check that out. Check out the um, check out the video how to get experience without a job because that's really relevant to you know your job hunt. Also check out um, the video on how to find a job in IT where that kind of framework icon I keep showing or that graphic I keep showing that one's pretty relevant too. And I think it will I think it will help you a lot in the long run if you kind of um, expand your ideas about what it takes to like get a job. It's like not just a, the degree. It's not just this or just that. It's like in my head it's like a whole bunch of things. And of course like nepotism is like and networking is like the most powerful tool but I, I pretty much ignore that because it's like not everyone can do that and I'm, I'm pretty introverted and I don't like you know networking for the sake of like trying to get jobs and stuff but but anyway I'm digressing a little bit so if you enjoy this content please like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it and we will see you next time bye